Hey Evangel family, Merry Christmas and thank you for jumping online and joining us for just a moment today. I, I love Christmas and I love the stories that surround this season and uh, I've just been contemplating everything that's happened this year and what's going on in every one of our lives individually and I'm just reminded that Christmas is so significant because Christmas Day, the day Jesus was born, uh, was the dawn, not just of a new day, but it was uh, the dawn of an age of grace that Jesus established on the earth for people. Up until that point, um, the, the church and the religious leaders had lived according to the law and according to what God had established through Moses. And it was on this day when Jesus was born that a dawn of grace emerged, uh, a dawn of uh, a new day, a dawn of God meeting us exactly where we at, we're at, a, a dawn of Jesus coming for his people. And you know, it's no mistake that the people that this dawn was declared to, probably prior to the dawn, <laughs> were uh, shepherds out in the field. And these shepherds were so significant because, um, man, first they tolerated sheep. And I, if you've ever tolerated sheep, you know what they went through every day. But they were so significant because they were actually raising lambs that would be sacrificed as a form of worship uh, in the temple. And Jesus is born in Bethlehem and the angels declare to the shepherds, uh, that Jesus, that the Christ has come, and they become the heralds of this message. Not that lambs will be sacrificed in a temple, but that the perfect spotless lamb of God has come. And now we know the false story that eventually he would be sacrificed uh, once and for all for the sins of all mankind. And this is so significant because the shepherds uh, during that time, they were actually raising lambs to be sacrificed in the temple, but because they were shepherds, they were outcasts. They weren't even considered clean. They couldn't even uh, participate in the worship that they were allowing others to take part in because of who they were and the the life that they had come from. And Jesus came uh, with the dawn of grace and said, now everybody's included. And that's why the angel declared it to the shepherds first. And I've been thinking about you this Christmas. And I, I know there's some that you feel like even in this age of the grace of God and the mercy of God and the revelation of who Jesus is, you feel like for some reason you've been excluded or you're sitting with family right now or maybe you're separated from family because of everything going on in the world and you just feel like there's been this exclusion that God has gone silent or everybody else is having a merrier Christmas or uh, everybody else just hasn't gone through the things that you've gone through. Maybe on the other hand, you are fully in it and you recognize what Jesus has done. Today is a time for rejoicing and for thanking God for bringing you through this year and for all he's done in your life. But if you're here today and you feel excluded, I just want to remind you uh, the meaning of Christmas and why this morning, this day is so important because Jesus gave everything for you. And in coming for you and wrapping himself in skin, becoming fully human and fully God, he committed, God committed not just the world, he committed himself to saving you. He committed himself to you being not excluded from his family, but included. And I, I want you to know today that God sees you, that he cares about you, that he's made a decision to include you in his family today. And even if you're rejected or apart from everybody that you love today, or even if you've lost somebody that's not on, at the table today, I want you to know that God's in it with you. He sees you, he understands, uh, and he understands because he came in his son Jesus, and he walked a mile in your shoes. And this is why Christmas is uh, not just a celebration for family, not just about sugar and candy canes and uh, ham and all of the celebrations and the gifts. Christmas is so much more than that. It's the revelation that uh, what you've been waiting for all this time, what generations had waited for before Jesus arrived has come. It's the revelation that, that not just has the dawn of the age come, of an age of grace, but we now live in it with a revelation of Jesus. And I uh, just want to remind you today that Christ uh, has arrived and he's arrived in our hearts and he's arrived in our lives and what he did on Christmas morning resonates through the ages uh, to today. 
and he still has the ability, as you wait on him and his arrival in your situation, he still has the ability to, uh, to show up and for you to see a new dawn in your life going into this next year and uh, in the days that are to come. And I just want to speak again to those of you that are maybe just dis discouraged or disheartened or feeling loss or feeling the brokenness of 2020. Uh, and I just want to remind you that Jesus is enough and that he gave everything for you and uh, that if he came for sh lowly shepherds so that they would be able to worship then he's made a way for you to be able to worship in the midst of your circumstance as well. And so we, uh, from my family to yours, obviously our family has changed uh, in the last couple of days. And uh, But from our family to yours, we want to say Merry Christmas. We want to thank you for being a part of Evangel. Thank you for being a part of everything God is doing. I want to thank you for supporting us this year and supporting the life of your church. And thank you for being uh, a part of the family. And more importantly, a part of everything that God is doing in Bismarck and in Garrison, across the state of North Dakota, and through the lives of those that are watching online. We believe that we are, uh, we're at the dawn of a new season in our church, and we're going to see and experience the grace of God uh, to restore people and redeem people and transform lives and bring healing to families and communities in a way that we've never seen before. And so from Janae and me and Avery and Lily and Berkeley, we say Merry Christmas. Uh, we love you so much, and thanks for celebrating with us today.